Hello guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show to make download button animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after finished video, I will share all project files for download. First one, let's go to shape layers, hold this icon and select this render rectangle tool. And let's make one shape layer and click session tool. Let's go to here, enable title action save and move to center. Okay, go to stroke and change stroke width 20 and go to stroke color. Let's select this blue and select blue dark color. Click OK. Let's write change stroke width 10. Okay, so select the shape layer again and go to fill color. Let's select this yellow and select this yellow like this. Let's change a little bit. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's change name object one. Okay, and in this time, let's import cursor hand icon. Go to here, right mouse, import and file. So select this hand image, click import and move to inside our conversation. And press S, change scale. Okay, nice. Let's try change 20. Okay, so let's move to here. And in this time, select this object and open rectangle 1. Open pet 1. And let's click this icon for size and make size keyframe and roughness keyframe. Go to five keyframes and change size like this and change roughness for circle. Let's try change again size. Okay, that's good. Let's see. Okay, select keyframes, make easies and go to graph editor. Let's zoom to graph and make smooth graph. Change graph like this, let's see. Okay, let's select this last shape frame, change graph. Okay, not bad. So let's click this icon for back to shape frames. Okay, so let's select shape frames and move to right. Then select this hand layer. Let's move to here. Let's select this palm behind and move to down. Click session tool and move to down then go to first second let's press p and hold shift press r make two chain frames and go to here and select hand layer let's move to here and chain rotation like this say chain frames make easies let's see okay in this time let's go to here and chain rotation like this and go to here chain rotation for click animation let's see okay and let's go to three keyframe one two three for shortcut you can use page down in the keyboard and after go to three keyframe let's try chains rotation like this again go to three keyframe one two three change a little bit okay let's see Okay, so select last keyframes, frames, hold alt, move right. Okay, let's see animation. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's go to here, make new passing keyframe frame and go to here. Let's move to up. Okay, and go to five keyframes, frames, move to down again, go to here. And move to up. Let's see. Okay, nice. Then go to here, make new rotation and new passing chain frames. Go to some chain frames and move it down and chain rotation like this. Let's see. Nice. So in this time, select these chain frames for object one and move to here. Let's move to right. 
Okay, and in this time, select object 1 and press S, make scale keyframe, and go to here, change scale 95, and go to here, change 100. Select keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, let's select this keyframe for scale and move to left. Nice. So in this time, select this object one and let's control D and let's press U for see all keyframes and let's close all keyframes. Then press S for open scale and for move to anchor point center. Hold Control, double click palm behind icon, click session tool, and change scale like this. Go to fill, let's click here, select this none for close inside color. Let's see. Okay, let's try change this 112. Nice. So select this object too and go to stroke color. Let's select this yellow. And let's select blue. Okay, so. In this time, select this object too. And go to add. Select trim pads. Open trim pads one here. And change end like this. Zero. Okay, and let's make end keyframe. And go to five seconds. Change 100. Let's see. Nice. So let's select this object too and change stroke width. And let's try change color to green. Okay, nice. And let's select these two keyframes and make easy. And let's animation. Okay, not bad. So let's close object keyframes and move to behind object one. Let's say again. Nice. We can try change stroke width 25. Okay, that's good. And let's select this object 2 inside and open rectangle 1 and stroke 1 change butt cup to round cup for smooth line. Okay, very nice. So let's close keyframe settings and in this time select this object 1. Control D for duplicate layer and press U for CK frames. Okay, and in this time, let's go to here and change size like this and this size. Okay, and let's try change like this for ball animation. Okay, so select this object 3. And in this time, let's hold shift press P, make new person keyframe, move to here, and move to down. Let's see. Okay, say so keyframes make easy. Let's see this part. Okay. Let's select keyframes, move to right. Let's select keyframes, move to left. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard. And let's move to up this. Again, go to 10 keyframe, select first keyframe, control C, control V. And select keyframes. Let's go to graph editor. And let's see graph. Okay, select this keyframe. Let's move to left. And select this, move to right. Let's see. Okay, back to keyframes and select the three keyframes, control C and let's control V for endless animation. Let's see. Nice, very good. So in this time, let's go to here and let's try change size like this. Let's see. Okay, go to here and select this keyframe, Control C, Control V. Let's see. Nice. 
and let's go to here again select this keyframe control c control v go to here select this keyframe control c control v and let's make someone again for endless keyframes endless animation okay Okay, let's see. Nice, very good. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.